All right, let's get to the latest now on overnight protests in Portland. A group of demonstrators returned to the Immigration and Customs Enforcement Building on South Waterfront a day after a riot was declared there. And we saw a couple dozen people gather outside the building. Police came out in riot gear to disperse them and declared an unlawful assembly. That was after some in the crowd threw rocks and bottles at officers. Police made three arrests before the crowd dispersed around two this morning. Now, earlier in the evening, we saw a separate protest in North Portland calling for racial justice. About 100 people gathered at Kenton Park and marched to the Portland Police Union building. The demonstrators were peaceful and we didn't see any police there. That group cleared out by 10 o'clock. Portland police also put out a timeline showing the scope of the protests over the past few months. It all started with a riot on May 29th, shortly after the killing of George Floyd. Police have declared riots 16 more times since then, eight of them this month alone. Most of the initial demonstrations focused on the downtown area around the Justice Center and stayed mostly peaceful. But protests and sometimes riots have reached other parts of Portland since then, as we saw overnight. That includes the Police Association building, the Multnomah building and ICE offices. There have been broken windows, objects thrown at officers, like we said, and fire set. Federal authorities have arrested a man they say hit one of their officers with a baseball bat during a protest on July 27th. Investigators are using live stream videos to ID these people like Dakota Ray Horton. Police are also able to learn things in real time during the protests from what's going on online. Through um, what we've seen, what we can hear on live streams, through social media for, um, that some of the, the activists are putting out there, they know exactly what they need to do to get a response from the police. So we have full coverage of the Portland protests from the past 85 days. You can watch it all right now on our KGW YouTube page where we have a playlist dedicated to the protests.